I just think that's pretty. So that's the intro to the uh, Some Devil off of the Tim Reynolds and Dave Matthews uh, DVD. I looked all over, found a couple guys that uh, did it, but didn't really explain how it is or um, really kind of nail it, in my opinion. So what I did was I looked at the tuning for Some Devil because he plays the intro and then goes right into the song like you saw me do a second ago. And uh, it is tuned down uh, five half steps. So you're going to need to use your tuner um, or just get a guitar that's already in the uh, baritone tuning. This is actually a standard guitar and I just tuned it and you know you hear people say that the strings are going to be bouncing off the fretboards and it's really, you know, it's not. So it, it it's fine. So um, go ahead and tune that down five steps and that way you'll be in the exact same tuning as some devil as well as the intro. So the beginning of this starts on the third fret, what would typically be the D string, okay, which is the third fret and then the fifth, uh, fifth fret, okay, and the picking on this, he does it, he goes through it uh, four times where it's uh, second string, then third string. Two, three, two, as far as the string goes. And then the fourth string, and then you go from five to four. So it's. And then there's obviously a pause. And then you go down uh, to the second fret and the fourth fret, and you do the same thing, but instead of going four, three, you go four, two. So it sounds like this. Okay? So the A string, or the second string, is always open on this. That's around the time when he says, thank you, you've all been very generous tonight. Now, once he's gone through each one of those twice, he had some extra picking just from the uh, second and third string. So it's... of that is to have that bass note just pumping along. And then once he finishes that one the uh, fourth time, so remember it goes through it twice with just a pause instead of the extra picking. that and then it does the extra picking then you're gonna put your fingers like you're doing a C chord and you're gonna go at the same picking with me in the second string and third string okay so it's C, in other words, your third fret, to what would be a G, or a third fret on the uh, first string. So that uh, pull-off and hammer-on is on the fourth string, okay? So the G string, haha, and it's 3 2 0. Oh. So it's. So your picking is going to. Uh, switch from the second string to the fourth string, so the A string and the G string. So once you've done the uh, the G twice, okay, meaning you're going to go C C C, picking and then G G G. When you go back and you do the G the last time. That's when you go, okay, so that's your lead-in. He kind of does it as a tease the first time. 
And so what that is, is that's on the E string, the third fret, and then the A string, it's open one, slide to five, and then when you go back to three, so it's first string, third fret, second string, open one, five, three. When you do that three, you go right back into the, so it should sound like this. So now this is where we go into the little interlude part uh, at the end. And so your fingers are going to be the same as a, a C chord and it goes so you're going to go just like on a C, the low C and then the high C. So the third fret and then the first fret that's on the, uh, the A string and then on the B string. That uh, first fret on the B string just slides up to, from one to three. So it's and then you're going to go up here where your index finger is on the A string on the third fret and your pinky is on the fifth fret on the B string. Okay, and it's, and that little picking is just the, the G string and the B string. So it's, so it's, the picking is going to be G, A, B, as far as the strings goes. Okay, so the fourth string. Second string, fifth string. And then your pinky's gonna slide up from the fifth fret to the sixth fret. And I'm probably doing bad technique here, but I use my middle finger on the fifth fret. So it's the same picking. You hit both of them at the same time. Be your fifth fret and sixth fret. And then it's, uh, it seems kind of confusing the first time you do this, but it's really no big deal. What you do is after you hit that fifth and sixth fret, you go down here to, it's gonna go one, three, open three. So this is the chord if you strum it. Okay, so, and the, your picking on that is gonna be, okay, so it's, so we've got um, two, three, two, five, okay? And that's actually how he's gonna end it. But let's go back to the, the interlude, how it starts. It's gonna be. And then as soon as you do that, then you put your finger back here like you're doing the C chord so that you can go and start over again. So once we finish that five and six, then when we jump over here to one and three, it's, so it's, and then it starts over again, that little interlude. So now when you want to end it, after you've done it, uh, your third time that, I just think that's pretty. So that's the whole intro. Now, for Some Devil, the song is really, really basic. It's very simple. And it's actually one of the songs that's really easy to sing along with. So um, I won't go through the whole song as far as lyrics goes. But um, the whole um, song is broken down into two parts. Okay, The first part is your open E string, which in this case is a B. Because again, we're still tuned down to baritone tuning. And then... On the seventh fret, you're going to do the G and B string, and you're going to go. So it's sliding from seven to nine. So it's like this. And then you're going to go hammer on pull up. And then right here, 
you're going to go on the sixth and fifth fret, okay? And then you just slide down, and you're going to go to a C chord. And then you slide up two frets, and then it repeats, okay? So I'll, I'll go ahead and go through the whole thing once there. when the lyrics come in. The entire time he's singing, he's either doing that or he's doing the second part, which I'm going to show you in a second. So it's one last kiss, one more moment, now I'll let you go. So once he gets to the interlude part for this song or chorus, whatever you want to call it, it comes up here. It's single notes. Really, really simple. It goes ten, nine, seven, five, and then when you go to three, you want to make sure you have a C chord. And then you slide up to five again, okay? So it's, you said always and forever, I believe you, baby, you said So it goes right back into it. <clears throat> That's the whole thing. And then the ending of it is stuck inside of me. It just stops right there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this honestly was uh, uh, because I really wanted to learn how to play this song. I think it's so awesome. And in searching around all over, I didn't see anybody else doing it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, do me a favor, click uh, like and share it with all your uh, Dave Matthews uh, fans. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.